Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tashana. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. Thank you guys so, so much for coming. Well, you read the title, so you already know. First of all, I want to talk about the double standard, having your child versus doing away with your child, okay? So, yeah, and I'm gonna share another thing that happened to me like after that. So, in Jamaica, abortions are illegal. I'm not sure if it's still illegal right now, but when I was there, it was illegal. And personally, and I can say this because it was brought to me to do, I've never spoken about this to anybody, not even my mother, but it was brought to me when I found out I was pregnant, I was in denial. So I did know I was pregnant, I would say pretty much the moment or a month into me getting pregnant. So I remember going to school the morning and I was supposed to not go to school and I couldn't do it. I could not do it because for one, I feel like I have a conscience that is very heightened, a very heightened conscience where certain things that I see people do I'm wondering like how do you do that because I could not do it I just know my conscience would be on me and I'm kind of glad for that because it keeps me on the straight and narrow not saying that I'm, I'm an angel but I have a very heightened conscience I'm aware of a lot of things and I just cannot do certain things which I could not bring myself to do it I said you know what leave it alone I'm going to school and I went to school knowing that at some point my parents would find out and the whole world would find out but I did not care I made up my mind and made a resolve that day I was gonna have my kid and it was going to be whatever and whatever comes come oh, this is something I've never shared with anybody I made a conscious decision even though I was 16 about to turn 17 i made a conscious decision to have my child i'm a very private person a very secretive my mother would say and she hated it but i made a conscious decision to have my child so when i done made that resolve in myself and knew why i could not go forward with doing an abortion when people come and start to say like hey this this that you got pregnant early tried to like bring you down stuff like that it cannot work if I was fully aware of what was going to come with my decision. I was fully aware. And with that being said, I know a lot of persons that got pregnant either the year after they left school or were pregnant during that time or were pregnant at 18, 17, same age. And the only thing is I kept my child. The only difference is I kept my child because I could not bring myself or ever will ever be able to bring myself to get rid of a life inside of me. I try to not judge people and I just think even though I think what I think about it, I just, like I said, I think it's a wicked act, not trying to judge anybody, but I personally think it's a wicked act and that's why. I feel like my conscience would be on me because if it wasn't for me a child would be here you understand so I really not trying to judge anybody but I feel like if I'm being judged for my personal choice I have the right to defend myself against people who if they didn't do an abortion would have a child young as well I don't understand the double standards of it just because you got rid of your child doesn't mean that you weren't pregnant yet. it's all about what other people have to say and i just want to make a point in saying like i am different i don't care what other people have to say and the reason why i could still go ahead and have my child is because i care more about what i feel than what other people think you get me and the people that do abortions because they got pregnant young 
is because they care more about what other people think than what goes on inside of them and I know that's what it is because the friend that did the abortion cries every day every night about her child I remember she finally got to a point where she was like four years had passed and she was like crying because her child would have been four years old and I'm just looking like thinking to myself like look at that you care so much about what other people think that you're willing to put yourself through that cry every night cry yourself to sleep over a life that would have been here had it not been you cared so much what other people think life altering decisions i'm not gonna ever make a decision that alters my life forever to please people and i just want to say stop freaking judging people that had their children young because they didn't choose to do an abortion they chose to carry their child stop because most of you people that are judging people did several abortions and it's not it's it's ridiculous to me that you feel like because you did an abortion you're better than the person that chose to carry their child how is your soul how is your spirit how is your sleeping at nights how is how are you when you see other people walking around with their children how are you when 10 years pass and you realize your child would have been 10 how are you stop focusing on other people's life like on and i try to keep this to myself just because it's just like at the end of the day they're already miserable and they're already going through what they're going through so you don't need to even speak on it but at some point it needs to stop being said it's because personally now how this even more so affects me personally is the same best friend that i had the same friend she was going through like projecting so she started projecting now and I remember one time I was speaking on I was going to school so it was very hard for me to do my son's homework and do my projects that I had it was very hard for me so I was saying to her like I don't have the time to do the homework for him and do my thing so I really need somebody else to help me to do his homework so, People that are not parents they don't understand like what parents go through so it's very hard thing for them to understand or have any kind of empathy but for her I felt like it was more so her trying to convince herself and try to convince me that she did the right thing so like I said she did an abortion abortions are legal in Jamaica people are so caught up in making people know that they were pregnant that they are willing to go through any lengths to get rid of the child so most of the abortion clinics in jamaica are like some back road stuff like you go into somebody's yard run a one part run a corner through a dungeon all of that just to go lie on a piece of table for somebody to scrape out a baby out of you she had low blood pressure they didn't do any blood pressure checks they didn't do any heart checks any checking of your vitals anything like that before they went ahead with the procedure so they just told her lay down on the bed and do what they're doing um i know a lot of persons that died from doing these people mix up all sorts of stuff concoctions and tell you to drink this it will get rid of the baby people jump out of trees just so they can do away with the baby and it's just like you care so much what other people think that you're willing to put yourself at risk the child at risk just so you can say well at least i didn't birth to a child but you were pregnant you were pregnant you had a child you didn't do a morning after you had a child you had a child so if 15 years from now you have another child you had two kids normally when you go into for any type of procedure they ask you how many times were you pregnant how many times were you this you can't say one because you had a child so What's the point? You had two children or you had three children. Whatever you want to make it into, you had a child. Okay? So, the friend now, she went on the bed, had them scrape the baby out of her. And when she was done, she was ex describing this to me. When she was done, they just had her walk out. She was bleeding. Remember, you do it 
under the table or whatever so there's no real aftercare or anything that goes on they just pretty much send you on your way you're walking crouching going towards the bus or whatever uh, in so much pain there's nobody there to help you because first of all you don't tell any of your friends you don't tell a family member you don't tell anybody because you, it's something that you don't want anybody to find out so you don't have any help and a lot of people during the after process they bleed out they can't tell anybody that they're experiencing terrible bleeding because it's not from a period what's going on what did you do and a lot of girls have died from these procedures just because they care so much about what other people say and I'm just saying stop trying to shame me as a big woman that is fine with her choices and try to make me feel like shame on you because you had your child at 17 shut up most of you were pregnant and you did an abortion it's the same thing you cannot shame somebody that consciously decided to have their child my heart is clean my conscience is clean okay so stop it so what I was saying is the friend came to me after I was trying to say to her like hey I really need some help with like homework not working and I need to get some type of extra help which I ended up getting so I did like evening daycare and the daycare persons would help with work so I did end up get the situation sorted out but before I got started out I was thinking to myself like how can I make this work and I was saying to her like I really need to find type of solutions for this and the first thing she's gonna say to me is this is the friend that did the illegal abortion pretty much could have died and nobody would have known what killed her she was like well if you can't if you can't if you don't have the patience well don't have children and I I don't talk to her like that first of all I try not to judge my friends it might seem like I'm judging them now because I'm talking about like I said the only reason I'm talking about is because people keep put projecting themselves onto me and I have to speak on what I have to speak on because this is how I feel about it I would never do it and it's your choice to make if you've done it fine but don't try to judge me for having my, ch my child don't try to do it because it's obvious that I have a child and it's not obvious that you killed 10 of your children don't do it like stop seriously so I was thinking to myself like whoa that was a harsh thing to say and I didn't say anything normally when I'm shocked I don't say anything to people I let them have their little gratifications that they need to have and I was like oh hope you feel better okay the, the solution to easily find a person to help with his homework that I'm trying to find is gonna be pushed to okay if you can't do the homework with him don't have children like that don't make any sense like that don't make any sense but when I um, thought about it I thought and I was like why would she say something like that because first of all that was a very harsh thing to say for such a simple thing and I was just like why would she say that and then I realized love to put myself in people's shoes and try to figure out have some empathy like why is it that someone would do the things that they do I was just like maybe she's trying to comfort herself to think like okay these problems that she is having while having her child I don't have them and I did the right thing she's trying to justify in herself so shaming me or trying to shame me for such a simple thing is the first thing she could say well don't have a child if you're not willing to be patient enough and it's not even about patience it's just like impossible it's the impossibility of it like sometimes I could afford to help him but when I had my projects and assignments due like due the next morning and you know the moment you get home it's late night all of that you have to be solely focused on your things you know you have deadlines to meet and I was just trying to figure out like how can I figure this out which I got figured out and it's, it was something so simple that she could say oh I know somebody that is helping people with homework or something like that instead of jumping to well if you can't help don't don't have children it's just like okay try to comfort yourself with that but I'm just trying to understand I'm not going to ever feel offended by that I'm just going to think like gosh you must be in a very bitter place for you to be saying something like that because that's not how life goes like every parent can tell you there's hard work that goes behind having children and you have to 
prioritize and sometimes you have to make hard decisions and sacrifices and stuff like that and you have to speak on it and try to figure out brainstorm how are you going to get this thing done what are you going to do all of that it's something very simple and her reaction just made me know that this girl is suffering like this girl is really going through some harsh shit with her decision and is trying to project onto me and you people like i said need to stop projecting onto other people because you felt like the decision that you made is wrong and you could have made better decisions i will never and i've never had my child and ever thought like oh what if i had done that never never but people that do abortions get to the point where they're like damn i should have had my child damn i wish i didn't do that and i remember her saying to me like i will never at one point before she made that harsh comment she was like um think about it every day and i cry about it every day and she was like i would never make that decision again if it comes down to it and whatever and it's just like stop trying to shame people because somebody like me like i said that's why it's important to know your whys it's important for you to know why you do the things that you do because once you know your why it's going to be very very difficult for somebody to come around and be like you are doing the wrong thing or why are you doing it this way or why because you already made your resolve you already have your reason as to why you do the things you do and so nobody can tell you anything i have a lot of things that i want to say a lot of things that i want to clear up and the other thing is i don't want anybody to feel like the reason i'm talking about is because i'm looking for validation that's never ever something i've been looking for and if i was ever looking for validation i would address everything that was said there are myriads of things that have been spoken about me and i've never addressed it i just have gotten to the point in life where i feel like keeping everything inside and not addressing things is not serving me anymore it used to serve me but at this point in my life it's not serving me and i don't want to be 50 years old 40 years old with all sorts of stuff inside of me and not addressing stuff and sometimes certain things serve you sometimes certain things don't serve you maybe the next 10 years of my life from now i'm going to get back to that place where i don't want to speak on anything like whatever they want to say they can say but that is for me to make that decision and not for you to tell me the reason why i'm doing whatever i'm doing is because of this here reason and because of that here reason like mind your business and mind the reason why you do what you do and let me do what i need to do to stay true to myself and keep my peace okay so that's it for the video thank you guys so so much for watching and i will see you in another video bye